Soval SV06 is a similar looking as my first 3D printer Anet A8 or Prusa which I haven't used. SV06 has a LCD screen, not the touch screen which newer 3D printers usually have. All the selections are done with the rotary knob. Before we can start printing something, we need to align the Z axis and level the bed. First Z axis will come down and then it will go up and hit the upper frame. Stepper motors will push both sides up to frame and it's a line. It will make scary noise doing it, but don't worry, it's normal. Before setting Z offset printer, we'll heat up to 120 degrees extruder and 60 degrees bed. My offset is set negative 1.46, it may be a little bit different on new printer. After adjusting the Z offset, you need to store settings. The probe will measure at 25.4 comparison. The Ender 3S1 with the same size bed measures at 16 points. Leveling is done and printer is ready for action. But before I started to print something, I measured the heated bed. The measurements are not 100% accurate, but it shows differences. Bed temp is set to 60 degrees. At most points, it's about 58 degrees and in the middle a little more, but at the front corners about uh, 2 degrees less. It's not a big difference, so it shouldn't be a problem. The SD card slot is placed to the top of the control box. Preheat time for BLA is about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. First thing I printed was pre sliced uh, 3D Benji from SD card. <coughs> I also measure power consumption when preheating it's about 300 watts and during printing it's around 120 watts. It makes about 47 to 50 decibel no noise when printing and all the fans working. It's a little bit louder side printer. The louder noise is caused by linear shaft bearings. If you want to reduce the noise, use some good grease or change the bearings. I tested the resume printing function when power goes out. I unplugged the power cable and waited some time and then plugged it back. Then you have option to resume or stop the print. Printer hit it up and resume printing with no problems. During the print you can change different settings like temp speed and fan speed like most printers but with SV06 you can change the flow also. PLA desk cube came out nice, seam settings could be changed to get even better results. Next one is PTG cube, nothing to complain. ABS cube surprised me most, I had no problems, stick to bed very good, no warping or any crack on layer line. Layer lines are very consistent and overall it looks very good. And last cube is printed with TPU. Printed without any problems and the quality is good. First 3D Benji was pre-sliced from the SD card. Overall good quality but uh, it had little too much strings. So I sliced new one with recommended settings, got it better but still too much strings. I had more retraction settings and increased retraction speed. After these changes I got better results. Top surface is very smooth. This print in place pairing is good thing to test tolerances, it came out good except one roller was stuck. After I broke it free it rolls nicely, layer lines and overall quality are good also. I 
I tried to print the skeleton shark four times before he managed to get it done correctly. First problem was clock nozzle. It happened because I changed default retraction settings, which were not recommended to change to prevent clogging. The 3D Benji printed nicely with these settings, but this print has more retraction and filament is also different. I changed settings back to default, this problem fixed only a little bit too much string. Then the print came loose from bed, so I changed the offset a little bit to get better rotation, but same thing happened, but then I noticed the nozzle is hitting the print. I enabled C-Hop and redirected it and no problems anymore. The shark came out good, even smaller details like teeth are printed nicely. The dog came out almost perfect except the chin, which was my mistake because I didn't add supports, but even without the supports, SV06 printed it very good. I tried waste mode also and it came out very good. Can't say anything negative and with this filament you almost don't see the layer lines. Polyper tower came out good and even with the bridging it's quite nice. Better than most printers I have used before. And the big nozzle has very nice quality also. So all SV06 is good, the printer with good quality and the price is affordable. There are some things which could be different. The first thing is cooling pan which sticks air above the heated bed. That's my opinion, but I prefer touch screens on newer 3D printers. But this LCD screen with rotary knob is fine also. And I am not a fan of linear shaft bearings. This printer don't come with filament run out sensor, but most newer printers does. And there are also things what I like, for example, the filament loading wheel moves very smoothly and lightly, the cable management is nicely done and there aren't wires hanging everywhere. This printer don't have any 3D printed parts by default, which in my eye is a good thing. The assembly is easy and you have used a manual with good instructions how to do it. These are my thoughts and what I experienced during testing Sowal SV06. More info about the printer in the description. Thanks for watching.